we've got a bit of a different video for you today because I am in a workshop. I'm in Mike's workshop, which is why you can see lathes and drills and lots and lots of specialist equipment, which I'm hoping will appeal to the to the geek, the inner geek that's in us all, because we all love our pinball machines. I know there's some mod makers who hopefully will watch this video. And it's just something that, that I've noticed. I mean, Mike does a lot of repairs on, on clocks and and such like. But I wanted to share with you what I have been told is an automaton. Now, it's quite amazing. This is handmade and, and we're, we're just calling it Mike's Merlin, really, which hopefully you can see is, I didn't know what an automaton was before about 10 minutes ago, and I'm not entirely sure I fully know now. But what I do know is we have a model here which Mike has spent the best part of three years in between his work, his repair work and his general workshop work, putting together this incredible model. Now, as the name might, might suggest, Automaton, it's gonna do some stuff in a minute once I start um, pressing the buttons. But before I do that, I just wanted to share the incredible detail. In fact, I'm gonna go back up to the top here and see, I think it's a, we'd call this a gargoyle. I think it's a gargoyle, there's one there. And actually I've just realized the, the one on the other side is actually slightly different. I'm hoping you're getting a really, really good close look at this stuff because there's a lot of work and a lot of love has gone into this. And I just wanted to say, cause I've asked Mike beforehand, I mean, you can see here, that's, I just want, want you to know that that is 3D, that that's not, and this has not been 3D printed. The brickwork, for instance, the brickwork effect on the wood here was hand chiseled. So this has been, this has been absolute, this has been handmade. I want to show you inside here before I, I press the, 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 uh, the action button, so to speak. So we've got Merlin. There's no introduction, I'm sure. We've got Merlin. And he is inside, well, he's castle. But the detail inside here is incredible. And I mean, well, I'm gonna, once I press the start button, some crazy old stuff's gonna happen, but I just wanted to show you in detail now, so as you can take in some of the incredible workmanship here. Look, I mean, look at that staircase at the back. We're gonna get right in there. Look at that staircase. Incredible. Just on the right-hand side, we've got his uh, shelves of wizardry, which I guess plants and, and potions and everything he's gonna need for his recipes. There's a wonderful spell book, which you can just see here. I mean, there's so much, there's stuff that you're probably gonna notice looking at this because you've probably got a, a better close up than me. Some of the detail here is just exceptional. I've just noticed something here. If you look at the, um, at the sort of the, the roof joists, can you just see the detail there? Amazing. We've got the shields. Of course, he's got his, his crystal ball there. And I hope you were able to see, I'll just try and get a little bit closer. I'm using a small camera here, but the small camera allows me to get in close. Look at the, uh, the suit of armor. Look at the cauldron. Okay, I'm gonna press the magic button now. And I just want you to, to look at the amazing Amazing stuff here. Okay. Can you look at the broom? Incredible. So I think it's telling a little story here. So Merlin's, um, well, he's gonna start doing his magic in a minute. You can see he's holding the wand in his hand. So 
I think it looks like he's casting a spell there. He's turning towards the fireplace. Waved his wand. Waving his wand again. <laughs> How cool is that? The cauldron is moving over to the fire. The wand comes up again. And now watch. All the while, hopefully you can see, the broom is doing its stuff. The spell has been cast, so the broom is sweeping the floor. The cauldron, look at that. Then you've got the two dragons, the serpents' heads, or were they dragons or serpents' heads, Mike? Dragon. They're dragons. Just incredible. And I just thought it was something that was worth sharing with you all. Uh, <laughs> and I just thought to myself, if anybody did make a Merlin pinball machine, I'm, and I'm talking about a modern pinball machine, and you wanted a, to a topper for it, you probably wouldn't find one with as much detail as this. And it's just a final look at just some of the detail with the logs by the fireplace. Look at, look at the ash and the embers that have obviously spilled over the edge of the fire there. I'm just going to put it on one more time so as you can see it, and whilst I show you from a slightly different angle, because now you know what's going to happen. And the more you look at it, the more you see other things. I mean, I've only just really noticed the candles are burning. And you can see the torches, hopefully. They're lit up. And you can s hopefully you can see that clearly the crystal ball here is catching the light from there as well. We've got, to we've got to see this bit again, because that, that's really quite an incredible effect, isn't it, on the when Merlin fires, <laughs> fires up the fire and the cauldron goes in. But even just if you look on the arm where the cauldron is going, the incredible detail on there. You have to excuse the shaky camera work, so I'm just trying to get in as, as closely as I can. Amazing. Just amazing detail. And just something that I thought so many of you will, uh, will appreciate the hard work and the detail that have gone into what is this incredible automaton? To give it its correct name. Magnificent. 